A 29-year-old white supremacist has been told he will die in jail after murdering 51 worshippers at two mosques in New Zealand last year. Brenton Tarrant filmed his attacks and streamed it all live on social media. The judge called Tarrant's actions inhuman and said he had shown no mercy. Outside the court, relatives of the dead celebrated as he was jailed. Shama Khalil reports. Celebrating justice. It's the sentence they demanded and the one they got. The terrorist who devastated their lives will spend the rest of his life in jail. He tried to look as strong as he can. He tried to look like he didn't, doesn't care. And I'm very sure that he was so much screaming and crying inside him. We said always in our language, Alhamdulillah, thanks God for everything, Alhamdulillah. Brenton Tarrant hoped his attack on two Christchurch mosques would bring fear and division to New Zealand's Muslim community. Instead, it brought people together. But the judge condemned a wicked violation of a place of worship and a killer who showed no mercy. It was brutal and beyond callous. Your actions were inhuman. You deliberately killed a three-year-old infant by shooting him in the head as he clung to the leg of his father. The terror you inflicted in the last few minutes of that small child's life is but one instance of the pitiless cruelty that you exhibited throughout. The judge spent almost an hour paying tribute to each of the people killed and injured. He spoke about their lives, their achievements, and the agony their families have gone through. One man, he said, died in the embrace of his wife, and the embrace of his faith. New Zealand's Prime Minister, who led the country's response to the attack, said she was relieved by the sentence. The trauma of March 15 is not easily healed. But today, I hope, is the last where we have any cause to hear or utter the name of the terrorist behind it. His deserves to be a lifetime of complete and utter silence. Aya's brother, Hossein al Omari was murdered in Al-Nur Mosque. Today, she feels the family can move forward at last. It felt like a ton of weight was lifted off our shoulders. This whole week has been an emotional roller coaster, and to conclude that on a, on a high note was, was fantastic. Aya, I know that you speak to your brother when you visit his grave. What will you tell him today? Hussein is with me all the time, not uh, not only when I visit him in the grave, and I have this this necklace that I wear of our favorite picture of me and him. And what I would tell him is justice is served today, Hussein. Justice is served. This massacre will remain a painful and harrowing mark in New Zealand's history. A day when 51 people were killed as they gathered in prayer and peace. Shaima Khalil, BBC News. Sydney.